Hi, my name is Paula Dupree Pessman, and we are in Boulder, Colorado, at the home office of There With Care, and we're a nonprofit that supports children and families facing critical illness. Previously, I was a producer in film, and I was working on the Harry Potters, and on the first one, my husband was diagnosed with advanced colon cancer. So we came back to the U.S., and Kurt was treated with advanced medicine and aggressive surgery. And uh, after going through that, I went back to work in London, and a uh, call came to my desk by mistake with a wish for a sick child. The first day back, and Kurt had just finished chemo on Saturday, and this was Monday. And it was um, a woman on the other line who said she had a wish for a child and whose wish was to see the film before she passed away. And um, so I said, oh, you have the wrong number. And she said, oh, I figured. I just thought I'd try one more time. And I said, well, wait a second. What is it? You know, and the more we figured out what she needed, it was something we could actually do. Spending time with kids on their wish from all over the world. And after spending time with over 60 families, I uh, was enlightened by them to the fact how, of how isolated they were and that when they go home they were, people didn't call or didn't know what to say or do so they didn't do anything so that kind of kept staying with me in my mind and when I came back to the U.S. to continue working it just became clear that there was this gap between this great day and the day-to-day -day stuff that families go through with a crisis so um, that's where the Earth Care was formed. It was really meant to just um, hold a family up through the crisis and get them to the other side. Uh, if it's a loss or if, if a family's child gets well, either way they get really thrown into a place where people don't know how to help them. So we find out what they need and we tell people who want to help them what they need and became a conduit for those families to reduce the isolation and support them. Four years ago, I left my job with a great company with dear friends who I loved working with. I, I had, I thought I had the best job in the world, and um, they were so supportive and um, joined the board and really have helped me a lot to um, get going. And they believe in what we're doing, so it was nice. I got to leave, and I still got to maintain the special things about my job that I loved so much, which was which was the people. Um, so. We started there with CARE, we got our first donation and we got our status um, in December of 05, so it's just been four years. And it started in my basement and then it moved to my garage and basement and then my front porch and we had many meetings in my living room with friends and their babies crawling around on the floor with my baby and we all talked about what we could do and how we could do it and it just started evolving and people, things that we needed showed up on the porch by people I didn't even know and um, then I would deliver it and my neighbors started helping and it just started to grow. Um, we ended up in the basement of a church and then that building sold and then we got our first uh, lease that we signed the, a year ago and it was really a wonderful way for the organization to grow because again as the needs became clear what we you know we were able to grow with that. Just trying to listen to the need and not be too aggressive in how we grow, but do it according to the needs, you know, and really listening to the hospital uh, social workers, listening to the families. What do they need? What would really be helpful? What's going on in their life today? And not trying to check things off the list, but really trying to adjust with them and grow with them. All the services we offer are based on families I knew through the Potter experiences. Four kids are our co-founders that I knew who are no longer with us. And their parents and their siblings are a part of what we do. They all inspire a service that we offer because they were things that would have helped these families. So I think that's why it works because it's it was not created by something we wanted to do, but by what families told us would have helped them. And we still continue to adjust that way with the families that we work with. If something isn't on our list that they need, we'll try to figure out how to make that work for them. And um, try to, if that's what's stressful for them, we'll try to, to figure it out. Uh, we had a social worker call us once and say, okay, I have a real challenge for you. Um, we have a mom who has horses and they're a couple hours away and she can't get to them to feed them. And she's very worried about her horses. And 
is there anything you guys can do? And so we called some vets in the area, and sure enough, you know, a lot of their staff volunteered their time. And these guys were great. They all, the whole office started doing a schedule and going out and feeding the horses and taking care of the horses. And that was what was stressful for that mom. You know, bringing her groceries wasn't going to help her situation. She needed her horses fed. It's always looking at the family and figuring out what would help them, you know, what is stressful to them. And let them focus on what's important, which is their child who's sick. I always tell volunteers, you never just deliver a bag of groceries. It always comes with care. How are you? How are you doing today? How's your son? How's your daughter? And a lot of times you, you go to the house with groceries and you realize there's no couch. There's no beds. And then, you know, we go out and we get beds and couches and we go and deliver them. And, and it's just a matter of having your eyes open and just seeing the need, you know, without it being a big, splashy something with a big bow on it you know it's just human compassion to other people and just really seeing that they need a hand across the street and just getting them to the other side but what I realize is there is some wonderful things in place but we can try to complement without duplicating we can fill in that gap the Ronald McDonald House gives them a place to stay but we can bring them food they give them a cupboard with their number on it but we can fill it they have a place to stay, but we can bring them diapers and baby food for their child. They still have the same challenges as a parent in their home. Leaving a sick child to go out and do these things financially, the immune system's compromised, and just exhaustion, you know. And so if we can take those things off their plate, that's giving them, you know, uh, some normalcy and some time with their children. I thought I had it all, you know, a wonderful husband, working on fun movies with people I loved and wonderful crew and wonderful employers and company. Oh, I thought everything was just great, you know, and then we discovered the challenges of trying to become parents and then later learning it was because of cancer. So all of that just, you know, yes, the bubble was burst, but all these doors opened up which was incredible through these experiences, you know, and I always joke that someone put a lemonade stand in front of our house, so we just started pouring it. And I think it's changed both of our lives. Kurt writes survivor guides for cancer survivors. He is starting um, a magazine for Live Strong for survivors, you know, and we both just have just changed the course of our life. We um, adopted two beautiful kids from Guatemala. We are parents, and now if somebody says to me, would you ever want, you know, this amazing husband, two great kids, and you could run a charity? I would just say that's too much to ask for. It's just too much. I'm very lucky. When I was starting there with care, I immediately knew which kids, which families I wanted to talk to. And it was two boys and two girls. And, um, they are. They were such special kids and um, such special families. It was incredible to have the one thing that these kids wanted. You know, to to really be able to give them that special moment it was it's such a gift. A parent would do anything to make their child happy, even for a moment when they're sick. And to be able to give that gift to the whole family is really a privilege. My dream for There With Care is to be everywhere in the country and for it to be a model of just really how to help your neighbor, how to help your friends and family. That was new for me, to just have that trust, to just take a leap of faith and just follow your heart on um, what you're supposed to be doing. And I guess I hope that somebody watching would just do the same thing, whatever they are noticing that needs to be done in their community or in their neighborhood. Just do it. Someone's going to do it. Someone needs to do it. You know, if you see the need, fill it.